It's now my great pleasure to invite Lady Gaga and Hugh Evans to say more about this very special event, One World. Dr. Tedros, um, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone who's uh, listening and watching. I would like to thank the World Health Organization and uh, the United Nations, as well as Global Citizen. Thank you very much, Dr. Tedros and Hugh Evans, for all of your leadership in this fight against COVID-19. Um, and thank you very much to the World Health Organization for asking me to collaborate with you on this special. We are all so very grateful to all of the healthcare professionals across the country and around the world who are on the front lines during COVID-19. This global pandemic is a catastrophe. I'm so thankful to them and I'm also praying for those who have sick, who are sick. Um, it's been a pleasure to partner with Global Citizen and we have been working all together behind the scenes to raise money for the World Health Organization. I would also like to send my prayers um, as well to people that are losing their jobs and are having a hard time feeding themselves and their children. Um, we are raising money for the World Health Organization's COVID-19 Solidarity Response Fund. And seven days, we held a, uh, seven days ago, we held a call with more than 68 corporate leaders from some of the world's biggest and most generous companies. And I asked them to join my corporate kindness list as there have been many corporations and philanthropists that have been very, very generous during this time. Since then, we have also been calling on philanthropists around the world as well, and uh, tech companies uh, included. Um, again, I'd like to reiterate our, our deep gratitude to the medical community. I, um, I My heart is, is, is very, very uh, uh, achy and warm for those who are ER doctors, as well as nurses who are sleeping in cars uh, to make sure that they don't infect their families or their patients. Uh, the, what you are doing is putting yourselves in harm's way to help the world, and we all salute you, and you are a triumph, truly. I am proud to say that um, over the past seven days, we've raised a total of $35 million uh, for the Solidarity Fund. This money will increase essential PPE, supplies and testing kits around the world and will help improve lab capacity to rapidly process tests. It will also coordinate uh, research development. Uh, it is so important to think globally and to support the World Health Organization to curb the pandemic and prevent uh, future outbreaks. I know Dr. Tedros is uh, particularly concerned about Africa and uh, so are all. Uh, we also need to act locally by supporting local charities and initiatives so that the frontline healthcare workers and those in immediate need have the resources they need to survive during this time. It has been an honor to help with this huge broadcast event, which will take place on April 18th, uh, where we need to tell the stories of and celebrate the frontline community, healthcare workers and their acts of kindness. We will be on different networks, um, many networks actually, uh, and I wanted to talk a little bit broadly about what we're going to be doing. What's very important is three things happen uh, for, uh, for all of us, that we celebrate and we highlight the, the singular kind global community that is arising right now. Two, we want to highlight the gravity of this historical unprecedented cultural movement. And three, we want to celebrate and encourage the power of the human spirit. Uh, I would like to, on behalf of the World Health, World Health Organization and Global Citizen, thank uh, Dr. Tedros as well as um, everyone that has uh, donated so far. We uh, are going to continue fundraising, but I would like to also let you know that this broadcast special is not actually a fundraiser. We will all, we all wanted to uh, raise the money before we went on air. So. Uh, when we do air live on April 18th, put your wallets away, put your credit cards away, anything away that you need to, and sit back and enjoy the show that you all very much deserve. And I'd like to pass this now to Hugh Evans, who's been a wonderful partner of mine. Uh, Hugh, thank you so much, and uh, thank you, Dr. Tedros. Well, good morning. Good afternoon, good evening, and thank you, Dr. Tedros, and thank you, Lady Gaga. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, 
Lady Gaga, Dr. Tedros, you've both demonstrated extraordinary leadership at an unprecedented moment when our society is being challenged like never before. And we are so thankful for your leadership. I'd like to echo Lady Gaga's sentiment and commend the incredible acts of bravery demonstrated by the frontline community health workers around the world. And I hope that we, as a shared humanity, emerge from this moment forever grateful for the work of doctors, nurses, teachers, grocery store workers, and all of those who are the backbone of our communities. Global health is at the very core of the Global Citizen Mission, and we must ensure that the world's poorest and most marginalized people have access to resources to cope with and tackle this health crisis. Through One World, together at home on April 18, we will be calling on philanthropists, corporations and governments to fund critical global COVID-19 response efforts, including distribution of resources and PPE 